Hi, it's Lisa True, and today we're going to talk about one of the most important financial decisions that you need to make, which happens to be, what are you going to do with the house? There are options to deal with the real estate owned by a divorcing couple. When considering what's best, you have to first look at the financial situation long term. Also looking at why you want to keep the home is really helpful. Those that are holding on so hard to the house usually have nothing to do with the property. They are holding on to the fear of the loss of the memories, the changes of today, and even the loss of the future promises. The great news is the memories can't be taken from you, and today and tomorrow will change no matter what you do. Or it may be that you want to protect your children by keeping the environment the same. Now, one of the things that you always hear is that kids are resilient. You know, the crazy things is that our children do handle the changes better than the parents often do. The emotional ties to a home are often driving a decision to fight for the marital home. Giving it up is proof that the marriage is over. And many times the lifestyle is drastically going to change because of the separation of incomes and assets. The resentment and dread can really set in. Now the first option is to sell the home and you need to do that by hiring a real estate team that can remain neutral, seeking what's best for both parties. A team that is compassionate and has the ability to keep both parties taking the next step in the real estate sale. The other option is one of the parties may buy out the other spouse. Now you may think that that's a great thing and yet if you are on that mortgage you need to understand that your responsibility does not end by just having the property change title. If your name is on that mortgage and they stop paying the mortgage payment, it could negatively impact you long term. So one of the things that happens is it's really hard to be moving forward on the financial responsibility if that is not dealt with properly. Now the third thing that can happen is you can negotiate it as a part of the settlement. Now, one of the things you're going to want to make sure of is that if you keep the home long term, you can afford that property. Remember, you will now have two households with the same incomes versus the one household before. So ask yourself, can you really afford to keep this home? Any questions that you might have, we're here for you. Now on the next video, I'm going to cover how you can protect your equity should you decide to sell. Give me a call with any questions at 561-352-3056. Talk to you soon.